Hey guys, Mr. G here with Backcountry Daily. Tonight I wanted to go over my Beretta that I did a few mods on and kind of set it aside and haven't shot it. I just took it out shooting the other day and man, I was so impressed that I had to make a video. I kind of forgotten about all the, um, about all the mods that I've done and I just kind of set it out of sight, out of mind and I was like, you know what? I got to test out the trigger job and a couple other things I did on the Beretta, see how it runs. I was hitting a bullseye at 50 yards. Granted, it was from a table. Yeah, the trigger is really good now. Wow. It seems like it's so short, it almost feels like it didn't reset. But still, way more accurate than she ever was. Way more fun to shoot. Definitely a huge improvement in the trigger. So let me let me show you guys what I did. So right here we have a, a Wilson Combat 635. It's a short reach trigger. The trigger that's in there is the original one that came with the Beretta. And by the way, this is a 92FS, Wilson Combat part number 635. That basically just replaces the actual trigger and it made a huge difference. Then we have the uh, trigger return spring. I went with this one, chrome silicon. Then I also went ahead and replaced the, uh, the uh, recoil spring and I went ahead and went with the factory 13 I guess they, they're numbered, so if you have a suppressor or uh, maybe like a muzzle brake or something, if you have a threaded barrel in your Beretta, you could try out different springs so you can get different results uh, with different ammo and whatnot, but I just went ahead and went with the factory one. But the spring that Wilson makes, I believe, is also made out of that chrome silicon. I believe they last a little bit longer than the factory ones. I also did a steel guide rod. I was kind of annoyed that the guide rod was plastic on a 92FS where they come uh, steel on M9, so I wanted to get get the uh, steel one. So that one is Wilson Combat number 670. And last but not least, are these awesome golf ball VZ grips. So th this is called the golf ball pattern. Let me zoom in on it so you guys can see right there. So you guys could see the nice deep texture. They're called the golf ball because it's like it looks like a golf ball, I guess. And these are the VZ grips. Got them at the local uh, gun shop, so they're the uh, the B92GB.DO. So that's it. That's the uh, the grips. Overall, I'm extremely pleased with the way she's shooting and the way she looks, and just the way uh, just the way she feels in your hand very grippy get a nice grip on it really well made and they even came with the new screws so i went ahead and replaced those so yeah very happy with it i just uh, if you guys haven't seen that video be sure to check it out just call the gun uh the range day video i just posted it uh, not too long ago so be sure to check that out i was shooting really well with this gun it was very fun to shoot very accurate just a great, uh, great, great pistol. One of my favorite pistols. This was my first pistol I ever got to, so I just couldn't be happy with it. I've always liked it, but the trigger kind of bothered me. Like that was the biggest uh, complaint I had about the gun was the was its factory trigger. And a lot of people have that same issue with the uh, 92FS and the M9. That's one of the most common complaints about this pistol, oh, of course, the weight too. Uh, it's a little, it, it is quite heavy for for uh, your EDC or for daily carry type of pistol, but it is great for home defense. It's great for a range. Spend a day at the range with it. You're going to be hitting some bullseyes. You're going to be hitting. Your accuracy is definitely going to be on point if you do these mods. And even if you don't do the mods, the gun's really good out of the box. I just really, really feel like these few things just totally converted the pistol to something else. It's just so much more fun and more enjoyable to shoot now. Once again, VZ grips, the uh, metal guide rod. We did the uh, guide rod spring or the recoil spring and the trigger return spring and the short reach trigger. Wilson Combat just makes some awesome stuff. And all of this was not too bad. Um, I believe I was somewhere around 50 something dollars for all the Wilson parts. And then the, the grips was the most expensive. As you could see, it was 75 bucks. And I was at a local gun shop 
Sure, I probably could have found them a little bit cheaper online, but I really liked the way they looked. I liked the way they felt. So I just decided to uh, support a local gun shop and pick them up and totally forgot about it. I'm glad I took her out the other day. Definitely uh, had a blast shooting it. And if you guys want to spice up your bread a little bit and don't overdo it, don't take the reliability out of it, just change out a few things. These are the things I recommend. I'm also thinking about doing some night sights and I'm also thinking about doing uh, the Wilson safety. This is an ambi safety from the factory. I believe the Wilson one is just for the right-handed shooters. So it gets rid of the uh, ambi safety. And uh, maybe they have both, but I believe that uh, that is the last part of this gun that is plastic because this is a plastic piece so i'll change that out and it'll be metal i'm looking forward to doing it but i may not you never know i might just leave it the way it is but as of now like i said i'm really pleased with it it's a short video for you guys just wanted to share this with you and those of you that have these 92 fs's if it's been collecting dust might want to throw these mods on it and you might fall in love with it all over again. But be sure to hit that sub, that like button if you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for some more. Take care.